Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to check out the bid FTA bins. A lot of you guys might have similar bins in your area, like liquidation, overstock, customer return, something like that. And bid FTA is a local company that has been doing a lot of auctions for like almost 20 years now they've been in the game. And they're just now getting into the bin game. So I'm really curious to see what it's all about. Let's go see what we can find. When you arrive to the warehouse, you're gonna pull around back to the customer pickup section. And once you go in there, you're gonna find the bins. They're open five days a week. And as you can see here, they have seven, five, three, two, and one dollar days. Their warehouses are absolutely massive. And as you can see here, these are all the items that were on their auction that are waiting to be picked up by the winning bidders. This was day one of the bins. Lots of stuff, lots of inventory, and it really varies week to week how much they're going to get in. What you get? Storage containers. My wife is so excited. I sent her a picture. 70 bucks on Amazon. Are they really? It's like 90% off, Kev. 82 and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah, You say you looked up the shower thing? It's like 140 bucks. Seriously. Yeah, All the packing and everything's still in there. Try it for seven bucks. I mean, give it a shot. So when you're done shopping, this is how the checkout process works. You go towards the exit, somebody's gonna be waiting there with a scanner and you're gonna open up your bid FTA app and find your QR code um, and that's how you pay, nice and easy. All right, I am back at the shop. I got a handful of stuff at the bins and I paid for all this stuff with my own money. Got a good variety of stuff. I got this snack box uh, of chips. I think there are, how many are in here? It says it's somewhere on here, 36 count. Uh, 30, I'm sorry, 35 count. I got 35 of these like mini chip bags. I like having these with lunches. And this was only seven bucks. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good buy. They did expire in November. So they're now, I don't know, two months, two and a half months, you know, past their best buy date. I think they'll probably still taste fine. But yeah, good variety. Doritos, Lay's, Cheetos, all that stuff. So I was happy to grab that for seven bucks. Got this B-Bird Pro. I've been seeing these TikToks and Reels and all this stuff for these things that go in your ears and you can like clean them out and record it and stuff. I don't know, kind of looks gross to me to be honest, but this is brand new sealed. Uh, obviously I paid seven for this too because it was $7 a day. And these are going for about 30 to 40 bucks. So a little bit of profit to be made on that. All right, I got some more food. This is uh, giant jars of Nutella. Each of these is 26 ounces, which is just absolutely massive. Now these, I think, expired September. So, I don't know, maybe four months past their best buy date. I think all of these companies are required to put something. So like, even though it's, you know, a hazelnut spread, it's probably not gonna go bad. They have to put some kind of like best buy date. But yeah, this stuff isn't expiring, you know, the same way that like a dairy product would per se. But I'm curious, would you guys get this stuff if it's a few months past its best buy date? Leave a comment below, you know, if, if you think that kind of stuff is just too far gone, don't mess with it, or like, hey, you know, there's probably still some life in it. Nutella's not cheap. I don't know how much these, these big jars run, but six jars for seven bucks, I had to grab that. Got some supplements for pets. Hydrocare, I don't even really know. I'm guessing this is for dogs, I don't know. There's multiple pouches in here. 
this is still sealed. I got it for seven bucks and I saw the same one going for right around like 35 or 40 free ship on eBay. Probably going to run me about 10 bucks to ship. So there's a little bit of profit to be made there. Not a ton. I saw these McCafe K-Cups and my aunt is obsessed with the McCafe K-Cups. Now these have a best buy date of March 2024. So they've still got at least another month. These 24 packs run, I think, $14 at Target. So retail is about 56 bucks for these. I was thrilled to pay $7 because I am just going to write her a little note, box this up, throw some tape on it, and ship it off to her. And even the shipping is probably only going to run me like 8 bucks. So all in will still be way cheaper. She'll be thrilled because that'll probably last her, you know, a couple months of coffee. This was a great find right here. Um, this is an Asus uh, Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, and it's a pretty modern one. It looked like it was sealed, but anytime you get stuff from the bins, you've got to open it up and just make sure everything's good to go. So I cracked it open. It still has the plastic, but I mean, I'm even going to go a step further and pull it out and make sure all this plastic is sealed and make sure there's no damage or anything like that. But this thing's going for like $130. So that was an absolute home run. Also find the, found these uh, Street Fighter II Skull Candy headphones. Um, just a really cool design. This is some kind of like wireless dongle, I think. I don't think, you know, whatever's on that is supposed to be, maybe it is supposed to be on it. Is that, okay, you know what? I thought this, you guys see this little thing right here? I thought this was some kind of like dirt or corrosion, but the closer I look at it, that's a car. Any of you that play the Street Fighter 2 game knows that there were, there was like an extra bonus level where you would just beat the crap out of a car and destroy it and like get all these bonus points. And I think that's what that is. So that's pretty cool. Um, I will inspect these and just make sure that they're good to go, clean, not used. And a lot of times what I'll do, so like, look, you can tell these have been out of the box. Like there's, there's a little bit of marking. So I will probably still sell these as used. Even though they're like new, I'm going to sell them as used. It's the old adage of, you know, under promise and over deliver. Even though you think they might be new, just sell them as used because then your customer is going to be happy. Take a little bit less profit and you're likely not going to get a return. So happy to get those because new those are going for like right around a hundred bucks. So use if I can get 60 bucks, I'll be thrilled. Okay, last but certainly not least, I got this giant uh, faucet. Let's see here. I don't even know what brand this is, but my buddy Kevin that came with me, I guess, scanned it. And he's like, this is going for like $140. So I went ahead and snagged this up. But yeah, it's got all the uh, attachments and everything. Let's see, there might be a brand somewhere on this. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Seven bucks. We'll take a chance. If you are anywhere near the Cincinnati area, I highly recommend checking out the BitFTA bins. They just got this started a few months ago, and it doesn't seem like the crowd's really there yet. Because when you go to these types of places, typically on the first day, there's a line out the door of 100 to 200 plus people. I know it. I've seen it because everybody wants like the first pick of the best stuff. And there just wasn't that many people there. So get in there while it still isn't that crowded. They have four locations. I'm going to put all of them down in the description below. And they do a dynamic pricing similar to other bin locations. It's uh, $7 on the first day, 5 on the second, 3 on the third, $2, and then $1. And it runs a Monday to Friday. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.